Oh. So the last match was April of 18. One, zero. Play courts in Houston. Stevie Johnson plays well on those clay courts in Houston, winning the tournament a couple of times there. Nice heavy One forehand all. inside out. So fast getting around the ball on that forehand side. Watch that footwork right there. Generating a huge amount of top spin on that ball. One. Almost decided a little bit too late to come in on Johnson. the forehand. It's a play right there in the second serve, Ted, that I think that Isner could take that return and just follow it into the net, get that ball deep, force his opponent to make a pass, and if they make a pass, shrug it off. It doesn't matter. It's He's serving up next anyway. Closer than John thought it was going to be when he left yes. it to go long. Had some strange spin on that. That when Johnson hits the two-hander, sometimes he comes across it a little bit odd. It's a little bit of a sidewinder. Really watch that ball. Well, for a long time, Johnson didn't have that. No, it's worked on it. It's gotten better. Well, is there? 3-2, Isner. So 3-2 on serve in this tiebreak. Isner serving 82%. First serves, 82. I think we can dare say that as superhuman. That's a good reason why 53% haven't come back. <laughs> And John knows he had an opportunity in that backhand to do a little bit more with it. No help from the net there with that let cord. This is the latest in the calendar that the U.S. Open can be held. August 31st is the latest possible start date. What does that mean exactly? And because of the schedule. Because of the schedule. You know, the, it's Labor Day this year is the latest it can be. I see. And so what I'm saying is if Labor Day would be September 1st, let's say, you'd be here a week earlier, and the heat would be a little more intense. Mm -hmm. That's been qu quite nice outside it's, to play some tennis. I was say, for the first day of the Open, I was looking at the players, this isn't bad. That's that play that I liked right there. Well executed. Got to the net. Four, three. It's not. A little stab volley gets the mini break. Helps to have some pretty long range there, Ted. <laughs> On that volley coverage. <laughs> That's frustrating for Johnson. You don't know if you get that chance back. Oh, and Johnson does. That's a very big play. Four. 
very good return to get himself back in that rally. Nice floater. Five four is Answered by a big body ball. I was just gonna say, Don't do that again. That, <laughs> that is complete self defense. Isner Six defending four, Isner. well behind the baseline and doing it well. Yeah, John really dug in in that point. You know, one of the things that he does off the court is work extremely hard on his fitness. He's always in the gym. He's always doing everything he possibly can to give himself a little bit of an edge in, the, in a situation just like that. That's where the work really pays off. Takes five. Isner. Set point to Isner, sir. Chance here for Big John to get one over Stevie after losing five straight tiebreakers. Can he do it? Game on for six. Fires home. Ace number 18. Puts the tie break away, and Isner gets the first set. 6-5. 